So happy you could join me on this beautiful day. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. I'd like to start off by thanking all my viewers and subscribers. I really do appreciate it. And I always try to get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Today is my standard that I like to use, free stretch canvas, 16 by 20. What I did was I went to your local hardware hobby shop, got some different colors of spray paint, sprayed it, waited for that to completely dry, and then went over it with a thin coat of liquid clear. And that's going to help the oils go on a lot smoother. Today I thought maybe we would do a Hawaiian scene. Maybe some green mountains in the back and some nice water coming in, a little bit of a beach, maybe some waves. Do something a little different, maybe palm trees right real close hanging over. Maybe some poinsettias, since uh, you see a lot of that in Hawaii. And any colors and any information you'll need to paint along with me will come across the screen somewhere right about here. Like I said, that's what we are so far. I loaded it up already with a thin coat of liquid clear. I use this brush right here. Just a thin coat. You don't want to put too much on or it'll start running. And you always want to make sure when you're using the liquid clear that you, when you've completed painting, you lay it flat down. You don't leave it up like this. Also, you can do the traditional way. Take a blank canvas and load it up with a thin coat of liquid white. And then your colors blend right in with the liquid white. So that's where we are right now. And I think we'll get started. I think we'll put some... We'll put some light in the background behind the mountains. I'm not really sure where exactly they're going to be. So we can just run some weight and put some weight in here right along maybe where the horizon is. something like that. We'll come into some red and some yellow to get a orange color. Maybe Hawaii, the sun's coming down. The sun is going down. Kind of have that close there and in the sky you'll notice that almost the whole sky all the way across is at sunset is all that color. I'm going to use a blender brush it's real soft. I'm going to come into the white and blend it up into the color. Maybe we can come into some darker, darker oranges right in here. Right like that. Oops. Clean that brush off some. Do the same thing. Come into that color. some more white in there. Brighten this up in here. Brighten that up right in there. 
circular motions. Just a tad brighter there, right in here. Take the blender brush again. Use that circular, circular motion. A little bit more white in there, brighten it up, brighten that up right in there. Right where we think it might be brighter. color, mountain color, get a little roll of paint right across the palette knife and maybe determine where we want our mountain to be in the background. We're going to have some grass growing on here. But we're going all the way across. All the way. Something like that. Coming all the way. there. Maybe it goes down here. Maybe it flattens out some. It gets a little hilly maybe, just the hills. in the excess. Scrape in the excess off. Now we'll come in. This brush 
we use to for the liquid clear. We're going to pull this down. We're going to tap it and pull it. Get the angles. Angles of the mountain. Before we put the green in. Clean that brush off. I use odorless paint in there, so it's a good thing. Knock off the excess. You want that to be lighter at the bottom. You want it to be misty. Like I said, we're going to come into some color. in some color right down there right where we might want the water line to be like that. <clears throat> now, let's see what brush will we use to bring in some color, some green. But before we do that, let's get a little bit of white. A little bit of white, maybe pull down some areas where some areas here and there where there might be Something happened. We can always cover that up with the grass. With that grassy area. grassy area come right through there. So some things happening in there. Just like that. Now come into some green. And the fan brush. Green and who knows. Taking that, tapping that. Tapping that different, different things happening, coming down. Who knows, maybe you got some green coming down here. some of that green look that you'll have in Hawaii. 
Hawaii, the mountains. I'm just tapping this, coming along, trying to figure out where where you want that grassy that grassy stuff to look. distance It gets lighter over there. Maybe it's got some light over here too. See some white, a little bit of white. Liquid clear, some white. Lighten it up. Just like that. We'll come in and tap some of this. in a distance. You know, all kinds of little things happening in there. Going to some more of that color.
the way down later, later, later. Okay, bring that off. Come into the blender brush and just blend this off softly. Just barely touching it. Kind of softens that. Kind of softens the edges. Gives it that misty look. Gives it that misty look right at the base. That comes right down onto the water. some of that going on. Come into some watercolor that I think would be good. Good watercolor. Very flat. 
collection. using the blender brush. Right there at the base. that bottom. Now get the fan brush. Come into that blue color. Wipe off some of that. that down there for the water. Going into that brown, pulling that down too. shadows and whatever gives it that water water's edge got all kinds of different colors in here got some blues and that. Come into the blender brush. Pull down. That's going to soften that.
that back. Looking pretty good. Take the two inch brush. We'll put some more color in here. here we can put the beach. Let's go up in here. Maybe put some clouds in here. over there. Maybe we can have one right up above here. Put some seagulls in. Clear. Yeah. 